have one, at least one that I can remember. Guys, watching the video while he's driving down the road. Watching the dang video while he's driving down the road. And we and we talk. Interesting information coming out of Prime Inc. in Springfield, Missouri. Man, it's a game changer for a lot of you that's there and for a lot of you that's thinking about going there. Now, a lot of you that's thinking about going there, majority of you don't even have your CDLs. And that is the reason why you choose to go to Prime because they have a, they have a CDL program there. Now, I'm not sure how long is the program, but I think it's like two or three weeks, or something like that. It's accelerated. So just know that you're going to probably go in there with a group of 30. And then at the end of it all, when it's time for your CDL, it probably might be only five of you. I'm just saying. But a lot of the times people choose Prime because, again, it's a starting company. See, it's a, it's a company to get in. They already well renowned and they self-sufficient. And as far as insurance goes, they are self-covered. That's how come they are able to say, hey, we'll bring in all these people and give them a chance to get their CDL. We'll train them and then they'll become drivers of Prime Inc. Now, a lot of successful stories came out of, out of Prime. A lot of veteran YouTubers came out of Prime. Veteran YouTubers like Trucker Brown, he started at Prime. Nick and Carla, keeping it 100. AC, she started at Prime. Tiny House Dreaming, Lotion Parts, D Sova Junior is still with Prime. That Cursey Lady. It's a lot of successful YouTubers out here, a lot of veteran YouTubers out there that have started their career with Prime. Some of them moved on, others are still there. You got the new Jacks that's coming in, that's blowing up on YouTube, that's driving for Prime. You got Slim Pack and a couple of other female truck drivers that's making a name for themselves on YouTube, all because of Prime. Now, back then, I used to say that Prime had the handbook to YouTube. And I say that because it seems as though everybody that drove, driven, or drives with Prime has a YouTube channel. Busy Blake, y'all remember him? I haven't seen him on YouTube as much. I don't know if he's with Prime now. He probably still might be. Y'all remember? C D L. Yeah. My girl, remember her? Queen trucking back in the day. Yeah, her story with Prime. Super crazy. I had some crazy, crazy conversations with Prime drivers of then and maybe a couple of prime drivers of now. But back then, it seems as though now controversy is coming into play. That didn't affect them years ago, but it's gonna affect them now going into the future. I come to find out that Prime Inc. has a 200 list of bad drivers. And I heard that before, me and AC the Mogul, we had a conversation about it. She was on that list. She was on that list for a while. Bad habits like heartbreaking, speeding, hard turning, aggressive driving, distance. Yeah, stuff like that. Lane changing, stuff like that. They got they got a list compiled of drivers that somehow, some way got on that list because of those incidents. They still driving with the company though. Don't, don't get me wrong, Prime is a training company. I, I don't think they're gonna get rid of you right away because of those incidents that I just mentioned. They'll pull you in, they'll probably sit you down, you take a couple of videos and, and talk about how you're gonna make it right. Prime will try to make you a better driver. That's what they'll do. Prime will definitely try to make you a better driver, which is good. But a lot of you have some reservations now because in the past, the new technology that they're about to implement soon wasn't a big thing. It was talked about, it was tested, and now starting next month, it's gonna be implemented. Now in this leaked video, shout out to the mother trucker of Prime Safety Meeting, talking about new technology 
that are going in their trucks starting next month. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. You know, uh, I did get the opportunity to go through the inspections this week, and we had a really good week log-wise, and we're going to have uh, Brendan and Rebecca from the, from the log department start making their way up here. But, you know, I always have to talk about my, my two that just drive me crazy, the seatbelt that you mentioned. And, you know, we have one, at least one that I can remember. Guys, watching the video while you're driving down the road. Watching the dang video while he's driving down the road. And we and we talk about how this affects our CSA scores. And we talk about, you know, what this what this does to Prime. And the leadership gets on me. Steve Wucky, dang it, Dennis. You keep talking about this. We'll fix it. Fix it. But we're gonna fix it. All right. So just to let you guys know, on May 10th, is that right, Jamie? May 10th, we have got a big announcement coming about the technology going inside of the trucks. We've got some new things coming and we're really excited about making sure that we fix some of these woes that we have and and you know the, the really the real big word is going to be accountability. So you know I think Bill Sprague has inched his way up here. Does this mean my time is up or does Hey does anybody want coffee? Who wants coffee? I just made a fresh pot of coffee. Does anybody want coffee? Now I already know what that new technology is people like to sugarcoat the words and stuff like that we know what that new technology is stop talking to us like we're a kid bro yeah we're going to implement new technology in our trucks you're going to implement the cameras bro why not just come out and say that y'all going to implement inward and outward facing cameras to now watch and observe your drivers driving are they paying attention what are they doing in their trucks and in this video one such thing that you guys are doing in the trucks that prime knows about are you guys watching videos as you're driving man and that seems as though is a huge problem over at prime inc that they try to nick in the bud accountability and keeping the road safe accountability for the drivers and keeping the road safe now i know some of you drivers are are for the inward and outward facing camera hell i drove for companies that had inward and outward facing cameras did it bother me as a driver no i i i, I kind of felt at that time that if you get into any situation the company is going to want to know what you're doing at the time of that situation just like the guy said driving while watching a video driving while live streaming driving without even driving while not paying attention to what you're supposed to be doing you hard break it registers the camera gonna pick it up it goes back to safety that video pops up on their screen and they're gonna want to know what you're doing and why did you hard break why did you take that curve so hard why are you aggressive driving is it because you hard brake because of a four-wheeler jumping in front of you and you had the hard brake is it because you're going down a, a steep hill that's accelerating is it because why don't you make me a double espresso macchiato with extra foam you got it whoa, 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 whoa. why don't you make it like your life depends on it you're coming to, uh, coming around a curve at about 45 miles an hour and it's supposed to be 20? That's what they want to know with these camera systems. Now, on the flip side of that, the drivers, some may stay, some may leave. Is that the reason why they're leaving is because of the cameras? I can remember back to when JNR Swoogle implemented their camera system and the safety guy at the time was the driven factor of getting them. he said look if the guys have a problem with the cameras then we didn't need them in the first place the cameras are here so that we can get our safety score back to where it was supposed to be and get the drivers to take accountability to what they're doing that was his whole driving force i drove for us express I drove for them at a time that they didn't have cameras either. 
But later down the line, they had a safety meeting talking the same thing as what this guy was talking. Hey, we're going to incorporate new technology in the trucks. And that te- that new technology happens to be the cameras, the inward and outward facing cameras at U.S. Express. Now Prime is implementing the same technology. Maybe they maybe they should have worded better and just say, "Hey, we're coming out with inward and outward facing cameras." And they're pretty much saying, in their safety higher ups are pretty much saying, "Drivers, you could take it or leave it, but it's coming." If you want to stay, cool, drive better. If you want to go, cool, we, we're not going to miss you because we're bringing in 30 people every week. Now let me just jump on a comment right quick, right? And he has a point because some of these drivers do have a point because at one point, before I jump on the comment, Swift implemented their camera system in their trucks, but they got into a huge lawsuit because one of their people that was supposed to be watching the cameras, the cameras only quote unquote supposed to come on in any event. But see what they failed to tell you guys is that the cameras is rolling 24 hours. When something happens, that part of the memory is activated, recorded on that little span of memory and then saved upload and sent off to the safety department that's what they don't tell you but what they will tell you is oh it'll only go off in an event no it's always on because swift was in a huge lawsuit with a few female drivers because somebody in the office was watching i don't know how they're going to input these cameras in the trucks for prime so that privacy won't be a big deal but back then, privacy. What? I don't need you to tell me how fucking good my coffee is, okay? I'm the one who buys it. I know how good it is. When Bonnie goes shopping, she buys shit. I buy the gourmet expensive stuff because when I drink it, I want to taste it. But you know what's on my mind right now? It ain't the coffee in my kitchen. Was a big deal for these drivers, and they hit it on the nail because somebody was watching the females getting dressed opening up their curtains full commando and they're getting dressed or they're in their bra and panties or whatever the case and somebody in the office got narked on so that was a big problem and it was a bigger issue with the drivers some drivers would never work for companies that have in work facing cameras because of privacy issues but let me tell you this isn't your company sir it's theirs. But just know that maybe about 85% of the trucking companies now, because of insurance, they are implementing the camera system. Now you may look up and get with a mom and pop company, or you may look up and get with a small company that don't have camera systems in their trucks because they trust their drivers. But you also got to understand those the type of companies that you are going to have to have about two, three, four years of experience as well. They're not going to just up and bring you in. But let me know in the comments how you feel about the camera system. I know a few of you guys definitely don't like it. So let's jump on this comment, man. He says, trucking has become such of a hassle. You have zero privacy. You're getting your balls busted on everything. You're just being micromanaged to death. The pay is not paying, and the sacrifices that you guys giving up out here is beginning to not be worth it. This commenter says he hates the state of trucking has become. Again, remember, remember, the reason that Prime wants to get the camera systems in their trucks, and this is basically easy to understand why they want the camera system in their trucks. I know some drivers going to be like, yo, they just wanted to keep an eye on us, see what we doing, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's true. Every day for the last 10 years, Loretta there has been giving me a large black coffee. Today she gives me a large black coffee, only it's got sugar in it. A lot of sugar. I just came back to complain. But what about the 200 drivers that are just bad drivers over there? 
And I'm sure those 200 drivers is going to be the first ones to get the cameras. I guarantee you that. Maybe the drivers that had like like safe miles or something like that, maybe they probably might be the last one on the totem pole. But you can best believe the drivers that's on the 200 list, they are gonna be the first ones to get those camera systems. Now my question is this, all right? Is that gonna affect the lease drivers that's coming in with their own trucks? Because Prime do lease out to owner operators. Is that going to be, if you want to work for us, you have to put the camera system in your truck. How that's going to work? Because if I'm an owner op with my own truck, no, sir. No, ma'am. I don't want to put your camera system in my truck. This is my truck. But in order to sign the contract and be a lease driver with Prime, is that one of the stipulations? Let me know about that in the comments below. You guys know that Again, a lot of these companies do have the camera system and majority of the reasons for them getting it is because of insurance, but that prime is self-insured. So I don't think insurance is what is it would be a reason why prime decided to go full on camera system in their in their trucks. But what do I know? I don't drive for prime. But do I still think Prime is a is is a good company to jump on with when you're coming into the game? Yeah. Is Prime a good company to jump on with if you want to get your CDL? Yeah. 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 So now, Prime drivers, now that you guys got the camera and you guys are claiming that y'all making buku money over there, are you guys going to stay and continue to drive for Prime? 